All right. Good morning, everybody. And thank you for taking the time out of your busy day for joining us today. Uh, my name is Nick King. I'm the product marketing officer here at Moderna. And today, Peter will be hosting your webinar today. Uh, he's been with us for four years now, and he is our Faro laser scanning specialist and applications engineer. So you are in very good hands. Um, Nolene, who heads up our sales here with Faro, is unfortunately unable to join us, but her details will be at the end of this webinar. So just a few things with housekeeping quick before we get started. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the chat. We will definitely cover them um, at the end of the webinar. Um, Peter is very knowledgeable of what's happening, so we will be able to cover all of that. So I just quickly want to go through the agenda with you. So we'll be going through the Freestyle 2 introduction first, and then we'll cover some features as well as the benefits and then how they work. Then after that, we'll be merging the handheld scanner with terrestrial scans. So from my side, I'm done and I'm going to hand it over to Peter. Enjoy the webinar and thank you once again for joining us. Imagine what is possible if you could capture fast, complete, and colorize point clouds of your construction projects with immediate real-time visualization. Introducing the Faro Freestyle 2 Handheld Laser Scanner. The Freestyle 2 delivers unmatched confidence that as-built documentation is accurate and complete, offering better access in challenging environments like mechanical rooms, interstitial spaces, above ceilings or stairways, to congested areas with intricate details and design. Versatile and flexible on its own, it's also a perfect companion for any Faro laser scanner. The Faro Freestyle 2 Handheld Laser Scanner, compact and fast reality capture in the palm of your hand. Morning everyone and welcome. We are very excited to bring to you the Faro Freestyle 2 Handheld Scanner that really helps our customers to capture data a lot faster. The new model of the handheld scanner has significantly improved over the previous freestyle model and the scanner can scan in direct sunlight and also in complete darkness thanks to its LED strobes. The small compacted computer can be worn with a shoulder strap or any flat belt so you are completely mobile with it. A smartphone can be used for the user interface of the scanner and I think the most important part of it is that you do not require any annual calibration. So a few features of the freestyle is the display lets you view what you capture as you scan. The capture 3D points starts at a distance of 0.4 meters and can be set to a maximum of 10 meters. The design for it's designed for normally illuminated interiors and outdoors, including overcast conditions, and even produces usable data in complete darkness thanks to its LED strobes. The lightweight with no bulky tablet or long cables and haptic feedback alerts the operator when adjustments needs to be made to the user scanning technique. In other words, the Freestyle 2 will vibrate to alert you. The Freestyle 2 has proprietary tracking engine that enables users to make natural movements while scanning and white balancing and post-processing can be done at the site. A few benefits of the Freestyle 2 includes that it is, like I said, portable. You don't need to have any bulky computer. As you can see on the video at my backside, that is the computer. The self-contained unit gives you the freedom to scan around objects or inside spaces. You scan scenes and objects without data voids in minutes. With the onboard on user interface that you have on the phone, you can see exactly when you have voids and you can scan those. It allows you to capture data easily and in more detail in less time and you can get high quality color 3D data with up to 0.5 millimeter accuracy. You constantly see the data displayed as you capture to ensure that you get everything that you need. So how the scanner works is that you can see you have the phone for the user interface and the scanner has a really nice rubber coating. It's got start and stop controls on the phone and also on the scan freestyle itself. And you can either connect the phone using the free, uh, with the freestyle using the USB tethering or via Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi connection will work great if you need to scan, for example, the top of the roof of a car. And you cannot get on a ladder so that you can hold the phone in your hand 
to look at what you are scanning on top of the vehicle. On the other side, we got the two cameras on the sides that captures the grid. And you also have the camera that's situated in the middle. That is the integrated color camera that we use to actually capture the frames. And then it's got six LED strobes to illuminate the scene. This is the mobile compact, compacted mobile computer, sorry. It is a strong little computer where you can connect your HDMI dis to display the user interface like a normal computer. And you can also plug in a keyboard and a mouse using the USB 3 ports. And the real interesting part is that it uses the same battery as the Focus S. So if you already have a Faro Focus S or M scanner, the battery can be used in the computer as well. A few specifications on the computer itself. It runs Windows 10 64 bits. It's got a i7 8th genera uh, generation processor, 16 gigs of RAM, and an uh, onboard 250 gig SSD hard drive. It's the battery of the inside the computer powers the computer. And then from the computer, it powers the Freestyle 2 and then also powers the phone. And the nice thing about this is it actually provides charging to your phone as well. So your phone won't die while scanning. The data flow works in reverse compared to the power flow. So all the data will be saved on the mobile computer's SSD hard drive. So the real question we get is, can you combine freestyle data with fair focus data? And the quick answer is yes. And, how you, and here you can see on the screen, the scan data in the middle, that is the Freestyle 2 data, and the focus data is on the outer side. So this was an underground, scunnel, underground tunnel that we have scanned, and certain parts of it needed to be in more detail so that we use the Freestyle 2 to scan those areas. You will also notice the small target used in the scan. Most of them are actually on the floor, but they are not absolutely necessary, but will certainly assist with more accurate registrations. For this, the registration can be done using target-based if you use targets on site. If you don't use targets, you can certainly use the cloud-to-cloud -cloud registration option. In this image, you can see details that you can capture with a Freestyle 2. And if you look on the model console, you can even see the finger smudges on that screen and also the charging cable. Unfortunately, the laser still does not play well with glass, but the, the scan dots on black surfaces has definitely improved. And this is real-time scanning that I've done. On the left, you can see the histogram, scan duration, data size, and the frames. And the scanner provides feedback in the form of vibrations to alert you that you are either too close to an object or an adjustment needs to be made. Another feedback feature is the bar that's popping up on the right there that turns red as soon as it sees a single flat surface. It will warn you before it starts losing track of that area. So this can easily be corrected by placing targets that's provided on the surface. And then to close the loop, I would end my scan again on the compensation plate. On the processing side, I have sped up the video a little bit, but yeah, the software will optimize the scan, filter the straight points and optimize the color as well as create point cloud. And this is all done in a matter of minutes and on the computer itself using your phone as the user interface. So after processing is done, you will see a summary. The scan took about 41 seconds and a total of one minute 21 to process. So within minutes, you can have the area scanned fully processed and view your captured data on the phone before leaving the site. And the end result after processing is a crisp and clear point cloud project that can easily be exported to a Ferrocene project, an E57 file or XYZ. In this video, you can see some projects that was done with using the Freestyle 2. And just to give you a few tips and tricks with using the Freestyle 2, the longer a single scan takes, the longer the processing time will be. So we try to keep the scan time as short as possible within under five minutes. That's normally the best. We also try to avoid jerky movements while doing scanning. So we want to have a 
constantly slow moving and fast and jerky movements can lead to inaccurate data and track tracking uh, losses. Using markers for high accuracy tasks, this will increase your accuracy as well. And if you are struggling to scan dark areas, uh, we can treat this with a developer spray. And also on shiny areas, we can treat this with an anti-glare spray to get you a better accuracy and more crisp and clear point cloud at the end. We also try to finish the scan at where we started to help with closing the loop, which is recommended to be done using the compensation plate that is provided. So in the video, you can see the smaller details that you can capture with the Freestyle 2. You can capture tire threads on the, tire, on the bicycle. It captures the spokes, that's about two millimeters in thickness. And it's much more detail that you can get from the Freestyle 2 than using the Ferro Focus on its own. See even the sprockets down there, it's crisp detail. This was a, a fake scene, so don't stress about the lady lying down there. Also fake blood, but you can see this data is where she's lying is the Freestyle 2 data and the rest was used with the Ferro Focus. And it captures really a lot of details. So you can get the letters on the legs, shoelaces, shoelaces, um, threads under the shoes, even her hair, you can get in great detail. And with the Freestyle 2, you can actually now capture liquid. Water is still a little bit of a problem with it, but more thick liquid like the fake blood here, you can see it really does capture that quite greatly as well. Just a few technical technicalities of the scanner itself. Um, the accuracy ranges from 0 0.5 millimeters to 15 millimeters, and that's all depending on the scan distance setting. The unit weighs about 1.48 kilograms, so it's nice and lightweight. Your arm won't get tired after five minutes of scanning. It does have an up IPA rating of 52, which means it has protection against dust and water. The compensation can be done on site using the compensation plates. The operating temperatures ranges from zero degrees to 40 degrees. And like the Ferro Focus scanner, the Freestyle also has a class one laser, which is ice safe. And the battery in the Freestyle will only last about two hours because of the computer consuming more power than the normal Ferro Focus does. So the question everyone is asking is, what is the price of the Freestyle 2? Currently, at the current exchange rate, we are looking at 278,990 Rand, excluding VAT. And underneath it is just a short list of what can be found inside the box, which does include a shoulder strap and external SSD to copy the data over from the unit to a computer as well. Cool. Thank you very much, Peter. That was really informative. Um, we're going to go through a couple of questions here quickly uh, that I've received. Um, okay. The first question I have here is, uh, what is the recommended largest space or area to scan with a freestyle? Well, the freestyle is made for smaller objects than larger objects. The fair focus will be then for the larger objects. So is definitely not recommended to scan a factory or warehouse, but you can follow piping in a plant room or you can scan smaller objects like for architectural purposes or you know for families and such you can scan chairs, uh, furniture and so on. But we also try to keep the scans under five minutes per scan. However, if you have larger areas that you need to scan, you can break that up into five minute sections and then with sufficient overlap between that, you can do a registration then with Infera scene software. Cool, thanks Peter. Um, all right, and another question, this is quite an interesting one. Um, if you're scanning, for example, uh, like inside an object, what is the minimum distance you have to have between you and a scanner? Uh, meaning, could you scan the inside of a washing machine? So the minimum distance would be 0 0.4 meters from the object. Anything closer than that will give you 
inaccurate dots so actually it won't even pick it up um, but the maximum distance then would be 10 meters so you got a range from 0 0.4 meters to a maximum of 10 meters however at 10 meters you do lose quite a bit of detail and the best detail that you can get would be at 0 0.4 meters okay cool thanks that's very interesting um all right another question here is will any android smartphone work so Android phones will work. However, they currently do not have Apple uh, iPhones and such on the App Store yet. Um, I assume they will bring it out quite soon. But there is recommended specifications for the Android phone that can be found on Faro's website. Cool, thanks. Um, okay, we have another question. What kind of accuracy are we looking at? So. The accuracy will depend on the distance setting on the scanner. Um, at one meters, you can get an accuracy of 0 0.5 millimeters. At five meters, it's about five millimeters accuracy. And 10 meters, you're looking at about 15 millimeters accuracy. Great, thanks. That uh, makes a lot of sense there. And then it looks like our final question. Um, how big will a typical scan file be? The typical file size would be less than five gigs. Um, just also to take into account, even if you do scan a small area, the longer you have the handheld scanner focusing on that area, the more points will be introduced into the point cloud. So that will also, uh, you know, uh, make your size a little bit larger than normal, but you're looking at about five gigs or less. Okay, perfect, thanks. And then looks like we have one more question here. Um, what software is required for registering and use of the scans? And is the software one we can purchase or an annual renewal required? So there's the mobile PC um, does come with scene capture that is pre-installed and licensed as soon as you receive the unit. That's you can also have Ferrisene, if you currently have Ferrisene on your computers at the office, you can use that as well for after processing, after registration and so forth. The software would be purchased with the scan, uh, the scan itself, and then there will be an annual renewal on the Ferrisene capture that is installed on the unit. Great, thanks, Peter. That does make sense. Um, does anybody have any more questions going forward? Okay, seems like that's it. All right, okay. Thank you very much for everybody who attended this morning. Um, we know it's, it's pretty cold in the country today and it's nice of you to actually attend to be with us today. Um, once again, if you have any sales related questions, please feel free to email Nolene. Uh, Peter will also put um, all the details in the chat uh, with Nolene's details, as well as Peter's email address for any technical questions. I will also be sending you a recording of this as well as the details on email so you can keep it on file and share it with your colleagues. Um, all right, if there's anything else that we can assist you with, um, for the cost, one more question, sorry. Um, what's the cost of the annual renewal? Uh, okay, Gavin, I'll send you all that info in the, um, in the response with the recording of this. Um, I don't have it on hand with me currently, but I will send it to you during the course of this morning still. Thank you. Okay, there's no more questions then. Yeah, I'd like to wish you guys a great day. Thank you very much for joining us and we will see you at our next webinar. Thank you, Peter. Thank you everyone, have a great day.